What if we could study people from the time that they were teenagers all the way into old age to see what really keeps people happy and healthy? For 75 years, we've tracked the lives of 724 men. About 60 of our original 724 men are still alive, still participating in the study, most of them in their 90s. When they entered the study, all of these teenagers were interviewed, they were given medical exams. We went to their homes and we interviewed their parents. And then these teenagers grew up into adults who entered all walks of life. They became factory workers and lawyers and bricklayers and doctors one president of the United States. And when, about a decade ago, we finally asked the wives if they would join us as members of the study, many of the women said, you know, it's about time. <laughs> so what have we learned? The clearest message that we get from this 75-year study is this. Good relationships keep us happier and healthier. We've learned three big lessons about relationships. The first is that social connections are really good for us and that loneliness kills. It turns out that people who are more socially connected to family, to friends, to community are happier, they're physically healthier, and they live longer than people who are less well connected. And the sad fact is that at any given time, more than one in five Americans will report that they're lonely. And we know that you can be lonely in a crowd and you can be lonely in a marriage. So the second big lesson that we learned is that it's not just the number of friends you have and it's not whether or not you're in a committed relationship, but it's the quality of your close relationships that matters. It turns out that living in the midst of conflict is really bad for our health. High conflict marriages, for example, without much affection, turn out to be very bad for our health, perhaps worse than getting divorced. And living in the midst of good, warm relationships is protective. And the third big lesson that we learn is that good relationships don't just protect our bodies, they protect our brains. It turns out that being in a securely attached relationship to another person in your 80s is protective, that the people who are in relationships where they really feel they can count on the other person in times of need, those people's memories stay sharper longer. So what about you? Let's say you're 25 or you're 40 or you're 60. What might leaning into relationships even look like? It might be something as simple as replacing screen time with people time or livening up a stale relationship by doing something new together long walks or date nights, or reaching out to that family member who you haven't spoken to in years. The good life is built with good relationships.